And so, uh, have you guys pl- uh, played around with the lossless stuff or FSR four for the Steam Deck yet? Mm-hmm. Uh, I have been messing around with lossless um, and FSR four on the Steam Deck, and I am both really impressed and also a little disappointed because mm-hmm. the input lag is a little bit high on some of the games. If it's an action game, that really matters. And so, uh, have you guys pl- uh, played around with the lossless stuff or FSR four for the Steam Deck yet? It's it's impressive, and honestly, if they baked it into the Steam Deck, which they could, because right now you have to do it through like the decky loader, um, and then you also have to uh, get like a pre-release of the lossless or uh, like a certain plugin to, and you have to buy lossless on Steam and all that. Especially if you only have a Steam Deck, like it definitely will extend the life of it, but it also has a little bit of that input lag, depending on how. Because you can adjust the loss list to be like two times, and then you can increase your frame rate. And it, it very much does so, uh, but a little bit at the cost of input, like c- controller input. Mm-hmm. So it's definitely worth it. And I was, uh, I, I was if it was going to work perfect, then I would potentially have switched over to like, uh, maybe wouldn't have gotten the Xbox handheld, but I'm thinking about still getting that. It doesn't, it works for DirectX 11 and 12. Just as a note, too, for anyone that's... So if the game supports DirectX 11 or 12, it uses, like, DLSS and then tricks it into using FSR. 